Good morning guys. We had an awesome night. We stayed at Island Bend last night. Beautiful campsite. It's a little campground. Yeah, it's not far from, well it's basically near like Perisher and you're still basically up on like the Kosciuszko range. Such a nice, it's well maintained, like the yeah. toilet's brand new again. Um, pretty similar to Tom Grogan's but a lot smaller, I yep. guess a condensed version. Yeah. A bit more bushy, so if there's a fair few people here it might be a bit hard to find a spot. But in saying that there's still a heap of room, yeah. <laughs> like compared to other ones we've seen. Yeah. Heaps of kangaroos around, yeah. um, there's a little track which we think goes down to the river, there's been a few people come up from there which we think we're camping down there. Which is possibly a free camp spot for the amount yeah, of people, possibly. for the amount of people that's come out from down there, we're not sure. But well yeah. also this one is normally free but it's just because of the COVID thing, you fee. have to book it. But, yeah. um, the sun is hot, it's today is, so so far the severe thunderstorm that was coming last night, never came, never came. <laughs> <laughs> but that's alright. It's, it's like not even a bit of rain but today is just perfectly clear yeah. and so hot. Like. Yeah, <laughs> we don't regret our decision to end the hike or anything. Like we had a, it's absolutely beautiful here, and we had a perfect hike. And yeah, this just finished it off nicely yeah. as well, finding this campground. And now because we've got more time, ah, March flies been biting me. This freaking everywhere. It's so annoying. Bring stuff for March yeah. flies. <laughs> but um, yeah, it gives us more time to explore up this way, which is Gathiga, which is like a little town I think, and it's like a power station and like a dam. Yeah. Go check out the dam wall and that sort of stuff. So go exploring that area. Yeah. Probably go back to Charlotte's Pass and do Steelwell Mount Steelwell, Mount Steelwell Summit. Yeah. If Caitlin's knee can handle it. <laughs> um, and then we're going to try and move our accommodation forward from tomorrow night to tonight, hopefully yeah. <laughs> in Jindabyne. Yeah. So see how we go. Hopefully a there. bit of an exploring day yeah. today. Yeah. A bit of make it up as we go, but it should be good. Yeah. So we're currently back up at Charlotte's Pass. We went to Gathiga this morning, which is kind of near Island Bend where we stayed last night. We went to the dam wall. Which is very impressive. Yeah. It's really cool. <laughs> you so can cool. walk down there and like look over the bridge either side. And, yeah. Um, also the Gathiga power station. Yeah. Which is all part of the Snowy Hydro. How they're basically making electricity from, from water. water. <laughs> <laughs> which is pretty cool. Water so, and <laughs> Yeah. When we head out to Kumar in the next few days, we're going to go to the information centre there and there's like a, um, a big virtual flyover with like 40 metre wide screens or something. So that should be, be very interesting. Yeah. And we can actually yeah. like properly learn about it all. So we came for that. Know what we're looking at. Know what yeah. we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> but it's cool because we've already seen parts of it um, to kind of put into perspective. Yeah. Yeah. So now we just come up to Charlotte's Pass. We are doing the Mount Stillwell walk. Well, attempting. You will be. I will I'm be. attempting. My knee's pretty fucked from yesterday. Um, from the <laughs> from the hike. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully it just comes good in a couple of days by itself. But anyway, we'll get as far. I'll get as far as I can, and Matt will go to the summit. Go have a look, see it's what it is. Beautiful day, perfect for views. Nice and clear. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully get a clear range of where we walked the past last yeah, three days, exactly. which would be nice. Yeah. And then making our way to Jindabyne for the night. Yeah, we've got some accommodation, so we're pretty keen for a shower and <laughs> do some laundry and cleaning up and stuff. Yeah, after and get the hike. Ready for nearly seven days of camping. Yeah, I think seven or eight or nine. Yeah, yeah. something like that. Yeah, <laughs> we're keen. We made it to another summit, <laughs> Mount Stillwell. Um, I can't remember how tall this one was, 1900? Yeah, I honestly can't 19, remember. 90 <laughs> something, I think. Like, still pretty tall, but. Not one of the tallest. Still a few hundred metres off what we've been doing the last few days. But, but it's a very nice viewpoint of where we've been the last couple of days, which is why we sort of wanted to come up here. Yeah. To see the track that we did and where yeah. we got to. It's actually yeah. really defined. You can actually, like, definitely see the main range track and summit walk where we have been. and. 
a lot of the mountains that we have summited. Yeah, um, so definitely an awesome view, especially if you just like want a little day hike or something as well. It's, it's actually a really quite easy short one. Yeah. Um, it's only 3.8 k's return and yeah, like obviously still expect all weather conditions and all that sort of stuff, but it's definitely a nice um, easy option for some people. Still pretty windy as you can see. <laughs> So we're now going to make our way down to Jindabin. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I like to call it. Jindabin. <laughs> Currently at Discovery Parks in Jindabyne. We stayed here last night, um, which was the accommodation we booked for after our hike, but obviously because we finished early, we camped the night before. Yep. <laughs> but we were able to move this one forward tonight too, which was good. And we just, yeah, had this cabin booked, basically just to refresh, shower, clean. <laughs> Repack everything. <laughs> yeah, reorganize everything. Regroup it all. <laughs> so it was really good. Um, it's a cute little cabin. It's a little bit dated, but it's got everything we need. Like For the price, it's perfect. Yeah. Like, you can't go wrong you if you really wanted it sleeps five yeah. <laughs> you pay the same if not more for a hotel room which has got no facilities so this has got a full kitchen like full bathroom yeah full dining room and everything like You've got tennis courts out there playgrounds yeah the park's really nice Bloody everything <laughs> yeah would recommend but yeah we basically washed all our clothes here last night from the hike and i'll show you guys this because would recommend where did we get this from was it a facebook group or something yeah it was from a facebook group yeah so basically it's like a little hydrolite container um, like electrolytes and you basically just fill it with coins <laughs> Drop it over here. so we just got all these gold coins we actually went to the car wash before we left and put in like twenty dollars or whatever just got coins from this it is the yeah. change machine yeah and yeah. spits out a dollar and two dollar coins and then we just keep them in this which is perfect size um for basically mainly washing um, yeah any washing machines or like if we really wanted like public showers or yeah, like anything in, like that in tassie there are a lot of campgrounds that used uh, gold coins to operate for a certain amount of time or whatever. And there were some campgrounds where you actually can, like, you pay in cash and you leave yeah. the envelope in the lockbox. box. There, like a... So you need, like, the exact sort of, and it's not, you know, it's like $9 or whatever. Yeah. Like, it's not much. So, yeah. Because we don't really carry cash anymore. Like, I don't know, it's just such a good idea to have this. In parking, like, uh, just. Yeah, it's handy. It comes in useful <laughs> for lots of things, yeah. yeah. And, like, the washing last night, each machine was four $1 coins. So. We've already used like most of this now. Yeah. <laughs> we'll to get some more. Because we used what nearly twelve bucks in washing last mm. night. Yeah. yeah. It's good to have it done though. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And yeah, we went and got groceries last night. Basically, for our next, we still got a week of camping um, from now, which we're going to head up north, still in Kosciuszko National Park, but um, head up to the caves and all that sort of stuff. So we basically got a whole lot of groceries this morning. Matt did an amazing job meal prepping everything. <laughs> Um, Make it fit in the fridge. <laughs> yeah. Another tip, like we just got a whole heap of um, the little, you know, like plastic Chinese container sort of things. Yeah. Um, Cut everything up, grated everything, yeah. everything's ready to go. Prepped everything. So when you go to make sandwiches, cook dinner, whatever, like it's all cut and easy and ready to go. So for camping, obviously, that makes it so much easier. Yeah. Um, less dishes and stuff when we get there and all that sort of thing. So feeling pretty organized. So we're going to end this vlog here. Going to keep it day by day for the vlogs. Just keep it nice and short and little... Um, kind of snippets here and there rather than one long one so yeah. today we're heading out to Kuma um, to go to the Snowy Hydro Discovery Centre to learn all about that and explore around that town yep. have a look what there is we've got well, that's sort of the main plan yeah and then from there we're going to go towards Yango Billy Caves Caves yep. Yango Billy Town it is yep. <laughs> yeah. we haven't actually booked anywhere for tonight yet but we're thinking we've booked tomorrow night already up at the caves so maybe we've booked tonight as well we can set up there for a couple of days. Do a bit of a home base and explore. Yeah. Might be somewhere nicer on the way. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have a look on the way up and just um, kind of wing it tonight. But See what happens. Yeah. So stay tuned for the next vlog and um, we'll see you then.